Recording. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my god. Holy shit. in the mail my Zara shopping addiction and I thought I'd just do a little unboxing with you guys so I recently ordered a few things from Zara um, I do tend to shop there quite often the main reason I placed the order was for this wool bomber I got the extra small small one it's ready like massive but I love an oversized jacket they did have a cheaper version that also sold out really fast it's kind of like a synthetic polyester and I have a shacket that is that material and I hate it. It sheds like no tomorrow so and it's white so I can only wear white with it. Um, but I definitely wanted the wool one. It's more premium. It's fully lined as well. Okay, I, I just want to try this on really quick. You really have to embrace the oversized look with this. It's very like my style. Yeah. dinner I felt like just making something Korean inspired so we have our pork belly and I'm gonna use the cabbage to wrap it I also have some seaweed and kimchi and then I had some egg tofu left so yeah that's for dinner tonight I'm so excited to eat <laughs> going out for dinner I was originally going to wear the Orson Iris top like recreation but I think it's too casual for what I want to wear to the restaurant it's like this fine dining vegan restaurant um, that my friend picked so I was thinking I would make these and I saw these on Vika on Bling Empire New York you can shop them on Revolve right now but they're $80 Canadian 
I'm not about to pay $80 for costume jewelry, but I remember I have rhinestone chain left over from my DIY fairy dress tutorial. I think I'm gonna use a smaller one instead of the one that I used for the strap, which is this thicker size. And we're gonna recreate them. I went to Michael's and picked up some ear posts. So that will be for the back. And you're just gonna need some E6000 glue. It's like one super long piece that's like draped around like that. That's just like looped around and then at the top here, it looks like they're kind of secured together in the half moon shape. So I should be able to get this done during my lunch break right now. And I wanna wear these with this top that I have also from Zara. <laughs> I swear, not my whole wardrobe is from Zara, but I think these will look really nice with this one shoulder top that I have. So that is the plan. both secured onto the plastic hopefully they look fairly similar i think that was difficult but yeah this is what they'll look like the glue does give you a little bit of play time so that's what i did also do make sure you do them mirrored so then they look even on the ears i figure i'll probably trim them if i need to at the ends to have that like asymmetrical look afterwards but yeah, it's all secured and then after the, you can see this at the back, we're just going to be gluing this ear post on like so and that's it. Super simple. I'm going to let these dry for the next few hours uh, before I cut them out and assemble them. dinner is at 6 not 6 30 and it's 5 6 right now i have less than 10 minutes to get ready oh i also need to go pick up my friend but she's only five minutes away so that's not that bad but this is time to watch now uh this is my favorite blush actually the merit one also is a favorite the flesh bomb but beach babe by nude sticks is probably my number one and i will definitely be repurchasing this i just kind of like contours and like shapes and face really well because my skin is a little darker and stuff but i just i just love it okay well you know what it's gonna be dim in the restaurant you're not gonna really see my out it's good enough for me Okay, curling my eyelashes. Okay, here's the final outfit. DIY earrings. And this kind of like, I don't know if you can see, but it's a pleated texture top. Um, new from Zara, and then I have my Molina pants. And I'm gonna wear black boots, obviously, but yeah, this is the look. Okay, I gotta go. I'm late. Bye! Bates and pine, and the pine is made into a syrup to sweeten the earthy dark Uh -huh. It's a uh, fried dough filled with 